Hi there, Uncle Davis here watching MPH TV Nothing Pro here. Over the last few weeks or months, I've got um, quite a few questions around how exactly I set up my head tracking in the Automobilista 2 videos that I've posted um, uh, recently. Um, now, obviously, I assume you guys will have heard of the software called OpenTrack. Um, now, I don't have any fancy head tracking or eye tracking hardware. All I use is my uh, Razer Kio uh, Pro uh, webcam. Uh, in the la in in the uh, old days, using Open Track, you have to use another software called AI Tracker in order to feed the um, webcam feed into Open Track. But nowadays, Open Track can do it all by itself. So let's jump into the link in GitHub. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description for you guys as well. Once you come into the open track github simply come to releases here as you can see the latest one is just two weeks ago um, and we click into that will bring you to the actual release notes of that version and you scroll down to the bottom and you will see you can download the software right here you can do the portable one you can do the setup exe one doesn't matter um, it's easier just to do the setup exe and once you download it um, open it and just click next, 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 next. You know, the usual jazz, the setup wizard, um, nothing tricky there. And once it's installed, you can simply load up open track and it should look a little bit like this. All right, it's here with the, um, you know, the, the famous octopus. <laughs> Uh, it's, 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 it's iconic, isn't it? All right, so um, once it's loaded up, um, make sure this is what you're getting there. So the input, you will use this uh, neuro, neuro, neuro net tracker, sorry my English, uh, neuro net tracker, output is free track 2.0 enhanced, and filter is a seller. Um, now in the profile, you can see I've got AMS 2. And basically, I just set the settings um into a profile so that i can load between each profile so you can see i have ms2 i have um ets2 i have omzi i have race room uh, which by the way the, these are pretty old so i pretty much just use my ams2 profile for any games that i do um and we'll show you into the options here um you can you can set a few um buttons here as a shortcut but normally all i use is the centering and i set it to f12 so every time i go into a race or you know when when i start driving i just hit f12 making sure my head is um straight you know dead on the center uh to reset it uh in the output here now this is pretty personal uh preference that um i only enable your because i found uh pitch can be a little bit distracting um unless you set the curve is really like non-sensitive that you you can do that too if some some people want to be able to look sort of down in a dash just just to get a bit of extra immersion uh, which is fine roll i wouldn't really recommend roll um because we are you know driving we don't really need to roll around our head it's more like only uh, pitch and your uh, but it's up to you it's up to you and the xyz is basically you're yeah, just moving your head along those axes um so for me i only got your enabled and everything else is disabled so that i only looking left and right um relative translation i don't remember i've done anything here so anything here showing up on the screen will be default um game detection you can you can do this as well start tracking automatically when a game starts with select the profile um but for me i use one profile for every game because i thought it, it it kind of works for me so i don't really go into here but you can do that as well in tracker here the, the important thing here is here so the camera name and you just have to make sure you pick your correct camera here and as you can see i've got so many cameras here um but yeah i worked it out it was it was that one um the rest i pretty much left it as uh, a default uh, resolution uh, i would really recommend to lower the resolution because for tracking it doesn't really need the high resolution so that you can save a, a bit more compute power towards you know your game or you, maybe if you're streaming etc um yeah you don't you don't really need 1080 
uh, 1080p for uh, just head tracking purpose. Uh, camera settings here, uh, it's basically just, you know, how the video looks like in your brightness contrast, which is completely irrelevant uh, for head tracking purpose. And finally, into the filter here is about a smoothing and dead zone. Um, you can play around with this. I haven't really played around with this, uh, to be honest. I left it as default and I thought it works pretty well. So that's the um, setup. Now, if I click um, into the mapping here, this is probably the more important thing. Um, so since I've only got the yaw enabled, that's why I only need to worry about this tab. Um, I disabled asymmetric mapping below. What, what that means is if you enable the asymmetric, which means you can have a different curve for uh, turning left, and turning right so for example if you're driving a left-hand drive car versus a right-hand drive car um, actually I should say if you're driving a left-hand drive car for example you may want to have um, the, the left turn of your head less sensitive than the right hand which means if you can turn less to your right but then you'll be able to see more because you're on the left side of the car if that makes sense um, but you know some people like that some people don't as I mentioned, there are left-hand drive cars and right-hand drive cars in the same game. Sometimes you have, you know, if you do an open wheeler, you are in the, in the dead middle. Uh, so it's kind of getting a little bit confusing and a bit uh, troublesome if you need to switch back and forth between profile depending on which car you choose between races. So uh, I try to find a middle ground um, that works for me. So so here I am, I've got the zero zero set here, which means there's no dead zone if you want to have a dead zone you can simply just drag this thing across so you, you can have a little bit of a dead zone um, and also you can just change this by dragging the um, little dot there what I've got set up here is around 70 to 80 right it's around 70 to 80 and for pitch it really is up to you if you want to use pitch um, that's how i have it set up i've got a little bit of that zone here and um, i've set it up to around 25 to 50. Um, obviously you can test this out as well so if we go back to here and um, this is exactly how you can enable or uh, activate open track as well which is simply by clicking start and after a while you will see a uh, preview there, hi there, and uh, you can see all my uh, very messy room here. Um, and you can see the software is already detected sort of, you know, where my face is, you know, my, my sort of eyes is there, the, the middle sort of the, the, the center line of my face is right there. And it is, um, you also can see like the, the, the blues, the, the Z axis, uh, as you can see it's tracking and you can see the, um, the little octopus is uh, turning around as I turn now uh, because I've disabled pitch so you can see it's not doing anything I've disabled the X Y you know Z axis is not doing anything at all um, so you can if you want that um, so for example some some people play a flight simulator you may want to be able to sort of zoom in on the uh, the Z axis to make the dashboard closer um, that that's an option uh, also, if you go back to the mappings here, now you can see as I move my head, you can see the dots there is is moving. So you can you can see like what what's the what's the input and output as the dot moves, tells you where you're at at that curve, and you can fine tune that. I personally think this setting is pretty good for my liking. I am on a 34 inch ultra wide monitor, so. Um, you may have a different setup, which means you may have a different curve. You know, you have have the screen sort of smaller or bigger. Um, I found this setting is quite well for me, so that I don't have to do this or could sort of turn my head but still staring at the screen thing. Uh, it's probably because thanks to the twenty one by nine uh, ratio, I can act naturally sort of just look left and right, and uh, it's it's pretty immersive for me. Okay, so once you've got all this set up, uh, I'll just stop that for now so you can click here and then you can um yeah you can save it as a new profile you can create a new empty config and then you just set things um along the way um but uh, just mind you that once you click that uh, options in the uh, setup menus it's already saved in whatever profile is selected down here in the drop down it's auto save um, all right, so that's it now. Just jump into the game and uh, one thing you need to be aware of is 
in order to use open track you have to start ams2 in vr mode all right so you have to start in vr mode from here by clicking play and then you just choose the steam vr mode and that's it once you're in the game make sure you switch to the helmet cam and your head tracking should start working uh thanks so very much for watching um if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below i'll try my best to answer it and as always take care stay safe i'll next see you guys in the next video bye for now